interesting. So this is how we get here. So can we go down here? No, we can't go out there. So that's the only way we can get to that. Cool. Alright. Okay, you guys. Careful going around the mo poison. Okay. Okay, so we just have to wait for that slow to go away. Oh, what if that's the well in town? Up. <laughs> that, that's funny. We have to auto save successful. That's nice. So, is there nothing else around here? They're not saying they're finding anything, so I guess I guess that's it. Let's take up. Uh where are we? We're in the middle of town. Where it's currently raining. That's great. Ha ha ha! Oh, um, beehives. I don't think we've been been to this part before. Actually, I'm surprised we didn't get stung walking into the middle of the bees like that. Let's talk to the goats. Woof. Oh, you're a dog, sorry. Um, you have to talk to the wolf dog. Chiba, the dog drools and shambles closer but speaks no words. A low moaning growl rumbles from its throat. Uh, how about you? You talk to me? Nope. They are not friendly dogs. What is this? Can we go in there? Yes, we can go in there. Oh. Ah, some poor soul. With nothing on him. But he left some goodies. We got a diary. We have fire staff. Dogs. I hope those dead dogs don't find me. And somebody's hiding from the dogs, apparently. Looks like an empty honey jar. Sure, let's take a couple of those. Let's read that diary. Uh thought you got a diary? Yeah, we already read that one. Give that to Braveheart. 
wet, more vulnerable to electric and ice attacks. Well, that's cool. Um, where is the legion? Where is the legion, indeed? And you are supposed to have a power stance on. I keep forgetting to put that back on. Right, so where is this book? Patty cake, patty cake. Pictures, field guide, journal. There it is. Let's put this up there. Where is the legion? My dogs tried to warn me of the horrors that surrounded. I heard their savage snarling, their fearsome growls. My Toxa and Sheba, the banes of would-be burglars, scared. But a series of small, stomach-churning yelps ended everything. As the night falls, I'm alone and I dare not leave. Peering from a chink in the curtain, I saw Toxa and Sheba's silhouettes prowling the yard. My pups, my friends, they live! But I cannot open the door. Not yet. I shall wait for the light of the sun to return before I brave the waking nightmare. Day has come and I dared venture outside. The zombies appear to be gone for the present. Toxa and Sheba greeted me with tails wagging and ears lowered, my old friends as yet, but they appro but as they approached, the green sickening light in their eyes told me they were changed. Something is growing inside them. The wretched zombies have taken their true souls, infected them with whatever unnatural outerworldly power governs the undead. I fear they will fear what they will become, but I cannot aim a spirit my own friends. At least the zombies will leave them alone. They're undead dogs? Uh... Okay. Can we sell this? No, we might as well leave it here then. Uh, okay, so where's this guy talking about where's the Legion? Toxa wet, can't see. Level 2. Well, I guess as long as they're not attacking. Uh, I guess let's talk to Braveheart. Okay, there we go. Braveheart says, according to his diary, this bloke couldn't put down his dogs even after he knew them to be infected. Uh... So, Valentine replies, Who could bear to harm his best friends? Especially when they only showed the signs but no symptoms of turning. And Braveheart says, He would let infected bees beasts spread their sickness as a sentimental fool. <laughs> Compassionate and heartless, plus one. Ah. Uh, I guess we should, we should kill them, shouldn't we? Okay, so how do we attack them? Ah, uh, let's wait till the dog's a little farther away. Of course, now they're standing right beside us. Yeah, they're zombies. Alright. It's spider time. Okay. I'm going to move over here. And I am going to... So that's going to cost me three to move there. How much do I need? I need six. Ah, uh, okay. That's... Just attack it. You missed it! Oh, come on, guy. How could you be missing these? They're right in front of your nose. See? Spider did okay. 
Are we actually doing anything to these dogs? Oh my god. Uh... Okay, now you hit it. Can you do it again? No? Okay. Let's wait. And spider? Okay, so we got rid of one dog. And that cost five, so I guess that's... Let's uh, shoot the dog. Shoot it, I say. And shoot again. Missed. All right. We're standing on poison. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Get off the poison. Oh, we still got a spider. I wonder how long the spider will stay with us. Oh dear. Uh, 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 Valentine, could you heal him before he cacks on us? I guess that. Yeah, immunity poison probably would a good, be a good thing when you have a spider around. <laughs> Where is that guy? The Legion. The Legion? Well, the Legion's not coming, but we we are as soon as I heal up my friend here. Now we're gonna save it. Okay, where are we anyway? Well, theoretically, we're still inside the town. Zombie dogs and all. I hope those dead dogs don't find me. Well, they're 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 gone. I'm not gonna f ah, he's in there. Okay. Where is the legion? We're coming. Well, we're not the legion, but we're coming anyway. Greetings. Wolfram says, "Mercy me! It walks, but it's not dead." I wasn't entirely certain I'd ever meet any one any more fitting that description. <clears throat> the name's Wolfram, and it's a delight to make your acquaintance. Good to see, by the by, you don't belong to the Legion. Ten other number accompanied me on a fact-finding mission to an ancient burial mound, but as it turns out, they stood a snowflake's chance in hell against the undead. Not that I reckon my chances are any higher, though, especially with uh, that vicious undead mutt prowling the grounds round uh, this year ruin. I go as far to say I'm in dire need of an armed escort back to the city, as a matter of fact. Well, you can tell me a little bit more about yourself, or I can trade with you. Let's see, what do you got? You got pears. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, tell me a bit more about yourself. Ah, Wolfram, I'm an archaeologist and connoisseur of the undead. Because of my expertise, Captain Aureus, the commander of the Legion in Sicil, wanted me to investigate the ancient burial mound just outside town, hoping to uncover the source of the zombie plague. No such luck, though. So you know a lot about the undead, Valentine says. Quite so. I live for the dead, so to speak. The combination of archaeology and a case of incidental necromatic mag magic is what sparked my interest in the field. Of course, I'll be glad to share what knowledge I've obtained over the years. Well, can you tell me more about the zombies, then? Wolfram says, Zombies are the result of vile necromancy in action. Among the resurrected dead, there are those who used to be wizards, and they can cast spells still. They slay their prey and bring them back as deathless thralls that fester with the diseases of decay. Should you encounter these menaces, always try to pick them off from afar. Don't let them get close, or they'll riddle you with the poisons and the blight that afflict them. Uh, okay, so what do you know about skeletons? These ones in particular, the ones around Sicil, are the resurrected soldiers of Bracchus, 
the last and most infamous in the line of sorcerer kings. He himself is supposed to be buried somewhere around here, but no one knows where the actual grave is. Long have I searched, and deep have I dug, but so far I haven't found anything more spectacular than rusted weaponry and shards of pottery. Be that as it may, Bracchus' soldiers stalk these lands anew, and they still fight like veterans. I told those fool of legionnaires to bring maces instead of swords. You know, weapons that can crush the skeleton's bones, not blades that may ricochet right off. Hell, even a sturdy branch would do the job better, but they didn't listen. Now they're dead. Oh, and don't be surprised if the dead use an unusual amount of magic against you. These soldiers were loyal to a sorcerer king, after all. Dark magic all round. Well, about that armed escort. I'll never make it back to Sicile alone, but you've gotten this far. You can bring me back, can't you? Certainly we can. Let's be off. Braveheart says, indeed, don't you worry, we'll keep you safe. And Wolfren says, marvelous, mighty fine of you. Lead the way, I say. Bye! Okay. Uh, okay. I guess we'll go back now. You're kind of leading the way for us. To me! To me! I'm under attack! Uh, right. Stand in front of him. And... Please! Crush these fiends before they crush me! Alright. Spider time! A wet spider. Okay, no. Can't do it again. And spider time. Fight! You missed. Not supposed to miss. I just stay still. Please oh, crush that's... these feet. Oh, uh. they crush me. Yeah, we're working me, on it, guy. Me. I'm under attack. I want to in the grave here. Help me. Up, down, failed. Well, that's too bad. Uh, let's see. You're an undead, aren't you? I don't think there's a whole lot of point in trying to poison you. Fire, maybe. But you have to be a lot closer, don't you? Invalid target? Well, dang it. Please! Crush these fiends before they crush me! We're working on to it! Me, to me! Draw I'm under effect. attack! Uh, let's pr protect our fighter. We will presumably be taking the brunt of the uh, attacks. And that's it. Yes, I, I agree, Richie. He is pretty much of a pansy. <laughs> He's so scared of the undead. I guess he likes them better when they're lying in their coffin. An undead killer? Is that what they said it was? An undead killer. Ah. I'm gonna kill my spider! To me! Oh. I'm under attack! Don't kill my spider! Yeah. Please! Crush these fiends oh, before they be crush quiet. me! Or I'll crush you instead. Alright, so we got... I've one foot in the grave here! Help me! Uh, yeah. I, poison is not gonna work on, on this guy. What else do we have? We have a head vice scroll. Does air damage. We have range 15 meters. How far is he? He's, he's within range. We could try this. Didn't blind him though, but we did do damage on him. And that's it. Oh, my poor spider. Now he's... 
Oh, uh, look. Wow. That does that's a lot of protection. Please crush these fiends before they Yes! Another one bites the puddle it fell in. <laughs> ah. Okay, so we got a ring. All right, where where do you go? Where do you go? Oh, for dang it! I'm one foot in the grave here. Help me! I would like to shoot, shoot you, idiot! Why did you run ahead? We don't have any maces to switch to, unfortunately, Richie. And he doesn't have any skill. Like, even if. Uh, let's go to the inventory. I gave him an axe. Uh, we can't switch. Okay, never mind. Anyway, I gave him an axe, but we have no blunt weapons, so. Um, he has no skill in it either. Oh, I guess we have to move up. Okay, um I'm one foot in the grave here. Help me. We're working on it. Run away, you doofus. Them. And we'll move closer. Okay, spider. Good job, spider. Be healing him, you jerk. <sighs> okay, that's good. Get her. I'm one foot in the grave here. And Help me. Cancel that. I don't want to do that. It's this one I wanted. I don't think I can hit them all with it, but we'll try. Okay, that's one of them. Move away! Doofus City! Yeesh! He just stands there. I want foot in the please! Crush these fiends before they crush me! Well, we're trying! To me! To me! I'm under attack! He needs some new lines. Uh. How far away is it? That is 7.6 meters. No, I have to be closer. No point in trying to poison him. Alright, let's. I can't cast heal, so. Shoot him. Missed. Shoot him again. Can you shoot him again? You can't shoot him again. Alright. Brave heart. Brave heart, can't you hit him? What? Come on. Do I really have to move Please you first? Please crush these fiends before they crush me! Now I can't hit him. Okay, fine. Ah, spider, bite him. 
Bite him again. Yes! Another one bites the puddle it fell in. Would you stop running ahead? Okay. He's no, don't stop, damn it. Wolfram says, you did it! We made it! No thanks to you, idiot. <clears throat> anyway, he says, <laughs> you did it! We made it! Cheers for escorting me to safety. You're a godsend you are. I'll be in the king's crab clearing the dust from my throat. Drinks are on me if you'd like to partake. Valentine has no... nothing Bye. to say. <laughs> ah... Oh... All right. Dang Welcome it. back to Sicile, Hunter. The Legion greets you. Yeah, nice to see you too. Um, I think we need to buy. Do we? The other of us have the lore master skill, by the way. Uh, craftsmanship. No, she doesn't have it. He probably doesn't either. Uh, no. Okay, we need the lore master skill because we've got couple of items to identify here. Um... Which place was this? This is the Mortician's Morgue. Well, maybe we should have a chat with him about the fact that he doesn't actually... He did not bury the body where he said it was. Where is he? I want to go slap him around. I need to slap some fool around after the other one left. <laughs> right. I'm going to save here. Right, you. Greetings. Robert says, so, what's the bad news? More orcs rampaging through the docks? Or have those infernal statues sent another soul flying to his death? About Jake's body. A sheep? That's a whole lot of nonsense. Don't bother me with such wild tales. Okay, so we have three options. Uh, so we could use Intimidate. We could use Charm. Can I look at my guys while we're in here? We can't, dang it. Or can I do this? So I can't remember who has what skill. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna try. Oh, dang it. I can't just leave. The... <sighs> uh. Well, I don't think he I don't think he has as much intelligence as she does. There. Let me try this. Alright. See her intelligence is seven. Oh, so you can click out of them and then so if I then switch to Braveheart, I can see what he has. Okay. Well. Uh. So I'm not sure what charm falls under. All right. Well, I guess we'll just uh. I'll tell you what, you tell me the truth about that sheep and I won't bother burying you alongside it. You'll pick that one. Oh yes, rock, paper, scissors. Win the game to win the argument. Okay. Uh, right, well, let's start with scissors. Oh, dang it. 
Um, rock. Well, shoot. Okay, we won one. Dang it. Dang it, we lose. Go ahead and try it then. I've got I haven't got anything to tell you one way or the other, you brute. Alright. How about she talks to him? We can't talk to him now? Well, dang it. Oh no, I guess we're, he's still the one talking. I'll take my leave. And stay gone! Alright, let's try her. Back again! Boat Jake's body. Enough of that bloody business. If you're just gonna bother me about finished matters, I can configure favor. Consider it a favor he'd let leave me be. You. I don't want decent people to see me talking to the likes of you. How about a gift to heal old wounds? Hmm. Oh, that's too nice a gift. No. You want a bucket? <laughs> a piece of bread? So what has he got here? He's got nine inch nails. Actually, what is... Is he wearing... He's wearing something the same. Alright. How about this? Would you like that as a, a present? Yes. I accept your offer. Plus one attitude. Okay. So if we go out of there... Forgiveness is best secured with gifts, my mom always said. You, what have you got to show you mean well? And stay gone! Okay, so I guess we have to do again. more stuff. Uh, so about Jake's body. Enough of that bloody business. And stay gone! Back again! Bye! Back again. Okay, so we have to improve his disposition, basically. All right. Uh, I wonder what he would like as a present. Some empty jars. <laughs> oh, we might have been able to fill those up with honey. Uh, would you like a plate? Why do we have a plate? Hmm. Uh, how about this? Would you like that? Plus one attitude. Okay. Oh, you see, you think I should reload, huh? Bye. Hmm. Okay, we'll reload just to... There's a way to tell which one... which one my guys are more skilled at, because that would make sense. That's the one I would pick, right? But... 
So let's look beforehand. Okay, so compassionate. Bold. Forgiving. See, I have no idea what, what charm uses... Okay, bartering. Uh, okay, so critical chance, initiative, immune to cursed, leadership. Well, there is no charisma stat, so. <laughs> keep that on. Crafting. No power. Altruistic. Constitution, vitality, intelligence, elemental witchcraft spells. Yeah, I have no idea where, where charm comes from. No idea whatsoever. Well, I'm looking at the traits, Richie, and I don't see anything about charm or intimidation or reason. So, I mean, intelligence makes sense that it might apply to reason, but it doesn't say that it does. So, yeah. No idea. Okay, so our reputation. It's neat. Action points. Huh. I don't know. Now there's personality. So... Neither one of them. Have anything in charisma? Okay, I will hang on. You're looking something up for me? Okay. <laughs> Google is your friend! <laughs> I'll keep looking here in case it's here and I'm just not seeing it. Willpower versus... Altruistic reputations increased by two. Barding is increased by one. don't know. So now when I had her do talk with somebody before, I used charm. And she had a bonus. And I think it said she had a bonus from something, but I don't remember what it was. We could try the charm with her talking. 
There we go. Back again. Now, about Jake's body, right? Okay, so we're gonna try number two. I've heard you're a good man. Now's your chance to help your community. Come clean, and whoever's responsible for taking the body could be brought to justice. Yeah. Let's try that. Charm two. Here it is. Default is three. And I have a context bonus minus one. <laughs> ah. Okay. Well, we're learning how this works, so we have to reload again. I'm gonna win this argument somehow. Alright, well... Dang it. Oh, I only get two. That's tough. I'm saying a lot of people use reason. Okay, well, uh, after I fail at this, <laughs> then I'll try the reason. Uh, So let's load the quick save again. We'll try reason. I wish it said why I had minus one and charm, because I'm pretty sure I had a plus one last time. Interesting. Jake's body. Okay, so let's try reason. Look, it's clear I'm only a few steps away from solving this mystery. If you don't tell me the truth, I'll simply find it another way. Why delay the inevitable? Yeah, it might depend upon the situation. Like, yeah, because here reason. Now, it says I have no charisma bonus. Context bonus one. Interesting. So... I guess that's interesting, the context bonus. So it's not just depending on your, your character's st uh, stats. It's also the, the, the designers thought it made more sense to use reason here. Le the charm being the least likely thing you should use. And intimidation being an okay option. But <clears throat> reason being the better one. Alright, well, let's try it. Mm, scissors. Yeah, so it's like you, if you choose the correct action, like you say, that you get a better bonus. So it's interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm just picking these randomly. I don't know if there's any... It's rock, paper, scissors. There is no excellent choice. Except using the same thing twice in a row is probably not good. Uh... Dang. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you're probably right, Richie. Charm would work better at a bar, and intimidation would work on someone who's weak-willed and scared. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't really seem scared, so... 
Okay, so Robert says, I suppose you're right. At least, if I tell you myself, you'll hear the proper account of things. I buried that blasted sheep, but I swear on my lucky left foot I had nothing to do with that body disappearing. One minute it was on my slab, you see. I left the room for just a minute to answer the bell in the front parlor, and when I returned, the body was simply gone. In its place was a sack containing more gold coins than I could even count. The message was clear. Silence is golden. I just... My business has been declining right along with the rest of our blighted city, and that sack of gold was worth more than I made during one of the good years. I needed cash, and someone needed my silence. I knew I had to bury something or risk being found out, so that night I stole into the market and made off with Bertie as fat as sheep. It was a bloody waste to stick so much fine meat into the ground to rot, but it had to be done. The next day, the pallbearers retrieved Jake's coffin, sealed to hide the body's terrible wounds. None the wiser that within the casket lay nothing more venerable than a slaughtered beast. Now, you can imagine I've spent more than my share of restless nights wondering who could have wanted that cadaver and for what purpose. I'm not an inch closer to imagining the why, uh, but I got a few inklings as to the who. Near as I can reckon, there were only four people who could have been involved. Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, Thalrian's apprentice Evelyn, and Esmeralda. Okay. Why do you suspect Mayor Cecil? Plenty of us shopkeepers entrust the mayor with the spare keys to our businesses, you know. And he's the only one in town with a copy or a second copy of the key to the mortuary. He could have used it to sidle in without a peep if he were so inclined. Okay, well, what about Captain Arius? Arius himself paid me a visit the night the body was delivered, came rapping at my door in the frosty morning before the sun had even started peeping, and told me to tell him, and only him, if I noticed anything strange or suspicious about the remains. Can't see why he'd bother to go through all that trouble unless he knew something the rest of us don't. Or maybe he was just doing his job and didn't want you running your mouth. Hard to say. Uh, why do you suspect Evelyn? I know it sounds strange suspecting the doctor's apprentice of something so ghoulish as this, but there's few in the city could manage to transport a corpse without raising eyebrows. It was she who delivered Jake's body from the inn to the mortuary, and there was something about her that night. Some kind of excitement. Seemed she could barely contain her thoughts that there was something thrilling about to happen. I can't quite settle it in my mind how a young medical professional would have such a strange reaction to an occasion such as that. And this may or may not have anything to do with the whole rigmarole, but her master, Dr. Thelrian, brought bought an old shack of mine, one overtaken by undead, for an exorbitant price considering what he was getting. I never did figure what he wanted it for, but he sure seemed eager. Hmm. Uh, what do you, why do you suspect Esmeralda? Never saw a widow less distraught at the death of her husband, and I've seen hundreds pass through my parlor. It was she who rang my bell just before the body was snatched, lured me outside, claiming she needed air, before discussing the funeral arrangements. Some accomplice could have sneaked in and grabbed the remains while I was comforting the oh-so-overcome Esmeralda. Hmm. About the bag of gold you received for keeping quiet about Jake's body. That gold's the only good thing to come off of this blasted affair, and I certainly plan on making some use of it. Ah. Let's see. Yeah, I think I like number three. I can see why other people picked this option, uh, Richie. <laughs> Surely, Birdia, whose sheep you stole, deserves this money more than anyone. Hand over the gold so it can make its way to its rightful owner. Oh. So we gotta do another one of these. Alright. Um... Gotcha. Ah, Bearjaw54, welcome to the stream. 
All right, so Robert says, you know, I reckon Bersia d really didn't get a fair shake in all this, did she? Here, take the money and give it to her. Times are hard enough as they are. Bye. Bye. I don't suppose I can go back there yet, no. Okay, well... Can we go back here? No, that's still considered illegal. Now, where's Bersia then? I imagine she'd be at the marketplace, wouldn't she? This is... Where is that? Okay, well, let's, let's try to find the marketplace. This game is called Divinity Original Sin. And... It's awesome. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, here's the marketplace. Right, so... So who have we got here? Not in the mood for cheese. And excuse more holes than a slice of Here for your daily serving of veggies? Please partake of the plumpest produce ever produced. Bye. Oh, okay. Actually, I, I guess you have to do this. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. That's good. Bye. Goodbye. Good yes, it is an RPG. It is indeed. Celia the Enchantress. Greetings. Oh, s oh no, noble friend. Your upper chakras are in desperate need of a good scrubbing. Fortunately for you, my home-brewed tinctures will do the job. Or if you're in the mood for something a bit more electrifying, one of my air scrolls might just give your system the shock it needs. Okay, what have you got for sale? Oh, you have a lot. Um... Aerial Surge spells. Okay. A jeweler's kit ring. Hi. Uh, an identifying glass. We don't have the skill to use, but we can get her to identify items, right? How much is it going to cost? Where are the two items? We've got the ring. Oh, it's got a blue background. And we got the axe. So let's... How much is it going to cost us? 40 gold! Ah... Uh, yeah, I guess. Shiny cup. You want me to do this? Yes. Constitution plus one. Okay, we're not going to get the others identified, though. Pickaxe. Ah. <laughs> 1,337 for a pickaxe? Oh. Nah. No. No, we're not going to... Just the, getting the ring identified is good. Thank you. Alright, tell me about yourself. She says, what is there to say? Just your average Cecilian trying to make a living. Well, tell me about Cecile then. Uh, okay, we've never seen that text before. Probably... Yeah. Okay, tell me about the Fabulous Five. She says, what don't I know? I've been a member of the Fabulous Fan Club since I was old enough to hold a practice sword. Oh, that's nice. What about the Legion? Uh, Orcs? Okay. Cecilia says, Imagine our terror when we saw their leader, a great green brute with grimy, blood-stained pelts across her shoulders, clamber onto our docks during that last attack. Thankfully, Aru was there to send them swimming back to their makers. Interesting. So what's the latest gossip? Those great machines Aru built us have helped us all sleep a little easier, but they aren't, just aren't enough to clear off the whole undead infestation. Have you seen them? Magical ballistae. Okay, well, what have you heard about Counselor Jake's murder? That poor man deserved much better. I hope they hang his wife Esmeralda. She's as guilty as sin. Well, everybody I seems to think she's guilty. Alright, you stop. are a chicken. Hi, chicken. Squeezy. 
What? Don't talk to me. You're making me lose focus. I'm going to talk to you anyway. What are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy modeling? Obviously someone's plumage isn't magnificent enough to inspire genius. All those naysayers in the past. Bah! See what I've become. Hundreds of years from now, people will wonder, who is that cock? It must have been a grand cock. So inspired. Okay, I'll take my leave now. Bye, chicken. <laughs> Jerome says, Ah, hello, proportionate one. I can see from the symmetry in your face that you are a great fan of the fine arts, no? Uh, actually, what have you got here? You have treasure maps. Oh. Treasure map one, two. Interesting. Um, as it happens, we have some pictures that we just happen to, you know, pick up on our travels. And and maybe you'd like like some books too. Uh, let's see what else. That one. Okay. So, how much money do you have? Let's see, we'll, we'll buy a treasure map. And we'd like the rest in cash, please. Uh, one. One, four, four, eight. Okay, oh, we still need some more. How close are we doing? Okay, that's pretty close. Thank you. No, oh, you're the proud possessors of a treasure map. Uh, tell me about yourself. I'm a painter by trade, as you can see, but a cartographer at heart. You might think there isn't enough work for one of my talents in a downtrodden city like Cecil, and you'd be quite right. I travel around and avail, mastering my craft and finding new subjects to add to my litany of lovely portraits and complex maps, like this rooster I'm working on now and the landscape that surrounds him. Well, thank you very much. Let's have a look at this uh, treasure map. Uh, that up there. Mm, you're the one talking about Jesus. Over there. Uh, oh, Constitution plus one. You get the ring. Here you go. Oop. So now he's got more health. Excellent. Uh, resurrect scroll. Immune to electrified scroll. Water shield. Hindering arrow. Well, you should give that to her. No and the poison yeah, arrow should go to her. Minor a minor heal scroll. Well, let's put that on the, the bar. And so we actually got some money now. Let's just move some of this stuff up here. Alright. Okay, so we talk. Who's this? Who are you? You're a citizen. Alright. You, Abertia. Hello. Greetings. Abertia says, Source Hunters, eh? Right proper, we're finally getting a hand. Things is chaos. If you've got a favorite sheep, Best to fry him up now before she gets thieved than the like my like my dear plump hogget, the finest in my herd. Alright, well you aren't selling anything. Okay. Uh tell me about yourself. Bertie says, now that the herd's gone, old Bertia just scratching by like a hen till the next batch of beasties comes through. Uh Braveheart says, uh, where's your herd? I recently sold most of the tent their loves to a trade her trader heading north. Plenty of business that away these days. 
whose miners must be preparing for a mighty great feast. Wished I could have a nibble of my dear darlings, all ground and spiced. That just sounds wrong. Braveheart says, <clears throat> about your stolen sheep. Bertia says, that louse, did he even bother grilling a single luscious chop? I bet he wasted every last morsel. Captain Aureus will have a thing or two to say about this. Until we meet again. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna follow her. She runs funny. Where'd she go? A quiet day on the market, it seems. <clears throat> Robin says, "Say, no one's around. You wouldn't raise a fuss if I erm borrowed one of these fish, would you?" Borrow, indeed. Roa says, "I'd sooner meet a cat wizard than see that merchant repaid." Come now, I'll be good for it, I swear. Uh... Are you, uh... Let's see. This is gonna be interesting. Robin says, So what do you think? Should I snag a fish? That's the fish vendor. That's the town guard. Um... I would say that merchant has to eat too, you know, leave the fish alone. And Valentine says, uh, Yes, you know what they say about giving a man a fish. This man should learn to stand on his own two feet. And Robin says, Sigh, I suppose you've got an, a point. Another day, another rumbling belly. Morals never fed her. Interesting. Okay. I'd like to know where that lady went. I w wanted to follow her. Roa says, That thief is free for now, but I wonder how long it'll be till his growling be belly seduces him back onto the crooked path. Alright. Bayfort says, What do you think of that fish thief? Thank you for making that would-be thief see reason. I only hope your instruction lasts. The last thing the plague, plague to people of Sysiel needs is a thief among them. Well, tell me about yourself. Oh, you know, life in Sysiel isn't always easy, but I'm doing my best. Tell me about Sysiel. Uh... Sysiel had the biggest economy in all of Rivalon before all these recent troubles. We're all holding out hope that prosperity hasn't fled for good. Uh... Okay, no. Yeah, it's stuff I've seen before. So, what's the latest gossip? The Legion has been here nearly two years now, but there's no, still no end in sight to our troubles. Uh, what have you heard about Councillor Jake's murder? A terrible crime! Councillor Jake was a Sicilian himself, born and bred. I'm certain a scheming wife, a foreigner, mind you, was involved. Hmm. A rabbit's foot. Alright. Bye. Um.